Hi everyone, my name is Lulame and this is week seven of the Master Key System. Yo, I just want, I'm, I'm so proud of myself. Um, I can't believe it's almost two months. Like I had every intention of seeing this through, but yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of the consistency and I'm proud of you if you've been going since the beginning. Um, the Master Key System is a 24 week series on how to manifest the life of your dreams, basically. Um, last week we were flexing our visualization uh, muscles and trying to remember a photograph um, just, just from looking at it and trying to get all the details that we can. And this week continues on from that and it goes even deeper into how to visualize because visualization is the process of making mental pictures and remember, everything in the world um, ha has been created at least twice. Once in your imagination and then once again in the physical world. And us human beings, um, we, we're quite lucky because we have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. So our, our conscious mind is the seat of reasoning will. This is where all our thinking happens, our uh, you, you need to be present for the thinking. <laughs> Don't think on autopilot um, because then you're not intentionally creating your life. And your subconscious mind is, um, is what's connected to the universal mind. I don't know about you, but I kind of get really excited thinking about how our subconscious mind is really connected to God. Um, it's it blows my mind. And and Hedel, Hedel paints such a such a beautiful picture uh, where he describes the millions, in fact trillions of cells that are in our body programmed with intelligence, just ready and waiting to serve us, waiting to serve you. Our army of cells receive direction from us. Do you know you have that power? Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of people disempower themselves. Um, you know, when you look, when you start to look for strength outside of yourself, you're on the wrong track. Your strength and power actually lies within. Unfortunately, um, a, a lot of us have been programmed to look outside and people tend to deal with the externals, the, the, the results of previous thoughts and beliefs. Um, I mean, you, 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 you might want wealth, um, health, uh, love in your life, all of these things. Um, but if you're looking at your situations and you're seeing the lack of it, you're, you're dealing with the effects of your past thinking. Don't try to change the effects. Go to the root cause. So once you go within, you can actually start to create the, uh, the external conditions that you desi desire. And um, this means if your life, if you, if, well, if, if you're not living your best life, <laughs> um, you have to go within and change how you think. And that's actually really good news because you can do that from wherever you are. So from this place of real, actual power, that's where you'll start to receive, you know, some guidance and direction on what to do to actually change your situation. The steps start coming out, you know, like, and it feels like divine intuition, um, you know, and, 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 and you, you start making moves and people start being put in front of you and things start to change, you know, and don't get me wrong with all of this. I'm not saying bury your head in the sand and ignore your problems, you know, and think happy thoughts. You have to be listening you, uh, when, when you get that intuition, you have to act. Okay. Uh, and, and once you're in touch with the universal mind, you'll be more efficient with your energy and uh, create positive results more quickly. So I said this in the last week, but it's worth repeating throughout the process. And you might get sick of me saying it, but I need to say it. You guys need to be patient. I need to be patient. <laughs> I love how I'm like, you guys need to be patient. I need to be patient. I'm, I, I can be very, very impatient, you guys. Be patient. Um, don't be that person who plants a seed 
and then a few days later goes and digs it up to try and see if there's any activity, you'll kill the seed. Um, so plant the seeds, trust the process and keep doing the things, keep doing the activities, relax and don't give any unnecessary energy to your problems. Just continue to visualize and think about what you want to manifest. Good thoughts. Okay, don't, 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 don't look at the number on the scale and feel disheartened. Do what you need to do at the time and keep moving, but be positive. Um, all right, and, and this is another little thing I want to add. It's not really from the master key system. It's just my two cents. Um, whilst you're in this process of trying to change your life, don't hang around negative people if you can help it. Okay, I'm, I'm not being horrible, but um, just remember that you are still, we, we, I say you, we, we are still all part of that um, collective consciousness. And if you're around negative people who are fearful and, um, yeah, you know, until you've built up your own mental muscles, you need to surround yourself with people who are going to promote your growth um, and, and, and help support you in the direction that you're going. It's, it's, for example, it's like if you're trying to quit smoking, which is incredibly difficult to do. If you're trying to quit smoking and then you're hanging around with people who are smoking a lot, um, yeah, you, you, you'll, you'll just find yourself in a really difficult position. It makes the process harder than it needs to be. Now, I'm not being mean, I'm just trying to keep it real. Remember, you can still love people, send them love and light from a distance, okay? Protect your energy until you feel strong enough to actually be out there with them. Okay, so like I said, this week we're building our visualization muscles because seeing creates feeling and feeling creates being. I felt very lyrical saying that, yes, I felt it. Um, <laughs> Once, once you believe something in your being, you actually start to act from that place of knowing and your life will start to change. So this week, we don't have a photograph. We'll be visualizing the last time we saw a good friend, whether it was indoors, outdoors. Um, just try and picture and remember the surroundings of that interaction as much as possible. Um, just what clothes were they wearing? What were their facial expressions? And just just visualize yourself talking to them about a topic that's mutually interesting to both of you. Yeah, and, and um, try and feel it as well. Try and feel the joy that you felt when you were hanging out with your friend, having a laugh, um, because that feeling, that feeling is really important it's also and it's an extra layer of communication to your little army of cells your large army of cells um it's it's a it's uh, i'm easily fascinated by things if you haven't noticed already um i just love the the concept that you can feel something independent of experiencing that event in real life um, for example, if, if, if you're anxious and stressed about something, you can, like, if you're thinking about anxious, stressful things, you, you feel it, um, as if you were back in that event that you're thinking about and your cells respond as if you're actually there. That's, that's really the kicker here is that, so if you can feel your way into negative situations and then your cells feel like they're already there. You can feel your way into positive situations too. So you can, I like to say, man, I can, I, I can feel like a million bucks right now. Um, don't look at the current situation, but you can feel it though. Okay. And people say, oh, you know, but you're not living in reality. Is it, is it, you know, if it's not really hurting anyone, is it a bad thing to feel good? So, um, I'm just going on a weird tangent here. Okay. Just feel, feel, feel the activity, do it for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the most important thing whilst you're doing this, I don't know if you can guess what I'm going to say. Uh, the most important thing whilst you're doing this is to 
relax, relax, relax. Okay, try and relax, try and be lighthearted about it, try and have a little bit of fun, uh, because all of this creates, again, what I was saying, that feeling of um, goodness. <laughs> I'm using very technical terms today. I'm not sure why I'm so hyper. I guess I'm just feeling good. All right, so feel your way through it. Um, and as usual, record anything that happens along the week, along the way. Um, I've definitely been recording and journaling this whole process. I think it's going to be really great at the end of the 24 weeks to get on here and share with you guys what has been happening. And a lot has been happening. I have to be honest, it hasn't all been smooth sailing, but it's, it's headed towards a pos positive direction. So it, you know, it, it's doing a bit of this, uh, but, but it's, it's going somewhere positive. It's going somewhere that's making me smile like this with you on a Monday. Okay. Um, so yeah, guys, if you like the video, please like the video, <laughs> hit the like button. Um, if you really are enjoying my content, please subscribe because the algorithm fairies enjoy that. And it also means your girl can get paid at some point in her life. Um, and if you really, really, really like the video, feel free to share it with your friends. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Look after yourself. Do good things. Take care.